Hey, what's up all you cheat fans? It's Jeremy here. Welcome to Cheat Day. I'm excited about today because I am reviewing, testing out, tasting these new White Castle Cheeseburger Castle Bites. Why am I excited about that? Because I live in Colorado. We do not have White Castle burgers. That was my oven beeping. It is ready for me to cook these. But uh, anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, we do not have White Castle in Colorado. The last time I had a non-frozen White Castle, because you can buy them at the grocery store, um, a fresh one was in St. Louis when I was, I think like 11 or 12 years old. So I'm excited to try these. I'm gonna cook a dozen of these up and we're gonna see how they are. All right, so I got six of these guys fresh out of the oven. Like I said, I did do the cheeseburger style of these Castle Bites. They do have a regular one that might be better for people like my wife that doesn't actually like cheeseburgers. She likes regular burgers or someone that's lactose sensitive or intolerant. But uh, anyway, six of these is uh, what it recommends as a serving uh, coming in at 190 calories. Um, fresh out of the oven, I was hoping they were gonna be a little crisper maybe, but uh, I did notice uh, the side that was cooking on the pan did have a bit more of a crisp uh, texture and color to it. But, um, you know, they're like the size of a, you ever had like a, like a pizza, what is it, pizza roll, like Totino's? Is it Totino's or Tony's? Totino's. I can't remember who it is. I'll put it on the screen, but, uh, Without further ado, let's try these. Mm. Now, like I said, I can't remember exactly what a White Castle burger is supposed to taste like because it's been a long time. But so far, so good. They have a, um, this actually kind of reminds me of biscuits and gravy. It's beef. I looked at the package, it's beef. But it has, I don't know if it's the, some kind of flavoring or sauce that they're putting in these, but it has a, a sausage -y, like a breakfast sausage type of taste, in my opinion. I could be, I could be crazy. I think I am crazy a little bit, but uh, that's just what I'm getting. They're not like packed. I don't know if you can see inside there. It just looks like little pieces of ground beef in a, um, I don't know, like a off-white gravy. Okay, call me crazy, but like I said, this reminds me more of biscuits and gravy more than a cheeseburger. They're good though. I think, <clears throat> like I said, people might think I'm crazy, but if you like biscuits and gravy, and I do, um, I think you might really like these. They really kind of capture that taste. Uh, I, I just picture it having Instead of cheese, I'm, I'm not getting that much of a cheese flavor. I'm getting more of a, a gravy type of sauce uh, flavor. I don't know, maybe I got the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. I also grabbed some ketchup, some mayo, and some uh, French's classic yellow mustard because burgers come in all kinds of variety with all kinds of different condiments. I wanted to see what they're like with a little bit of each. Mustard, you know, there's plenty of burgers 
out there that just have mustard. That's kind of a classic condiment. That's good. It's good, but not necessary. It might, the mustard actually, I think, kind of makes it taste probably more like, um, maybe more like a cheeseburger, uh, like a, a classic type of burger that would have just mustard on it. Um, a little mayo. That's good too. That actually might complement the natural taste of this better than mustard. Either way though, it's fun to try stuff. Ketchup. That's good. That's good. That actually reminds me more of a burger, probably more so than any of the other. Um, yeah, these are these are these are good. Now, I thought about this on my way home from the grocery store when I bought these. I think these are really new on the market. I think they're like very new, very new. But I was thinking, <laughs> have you guys ever fried the pizza pockets? Is that what they're called, pizza pizza rolls? Have you ever fried them? Incredible. So I was thinking about possibly frying some of these. I don't recommend it from a health standpoint, <laughs> but I'm guessing it would be really good. I'm half tempted to fry some of these up, but quite honestly, I don't have anything to really fry them in. I've got some coconut oil. That's definitely gonna change the, the taste. And I've got some ghee, that which is a purified butter. Uh, clarified, not purified. Um, and that's really gonna definitely change the taste profile. Usually I have some avocado oil. That's a, a more stable, healthier option if you wanna fry something, but I'm all out. So. I don't know. It'd be fun to try these things fried. I'm gonna try one of these. Now this is probably, it might gross someone out, but hey, I'm not afraid to try. I'm gonna put a little bit of everything. Have you ever had a burger with like all the condiments? Remember Fuddruckers? Has anyone ever been to Fuddruckers? Is Fuddruckers still around? Leave in the comments if you've ever had Fuddruckers or are they still around? I remember building my burger. Well, quick history on Fuddruckers. It's a burger where they give you the burger and you go to a like a condiment bar and you can throw on anything and everything you want. And when I was a kid, I threw on everything. I like burgers that are loaded with everything. So I'm gonna try this with these three different sauces. good I mean what a Whopper has doesn't it have mayo and ketchup and then I mean there's there's I know a decent amount of burgers that have have mustard on them so why not right try things out open your horizon so many people are so afraid to try try things oh I don't like this I don't like that well have you ever tried it with this sometimes you know things that you don't normally like can complement other ingredients really well but anyway back to these these are good if you want something different they can just keep in your freezer I would recommend them. excuse me <clears throat> I would definitely recommend them uh, do they taste like a cheeseburger in my opinion not really I'm gonna have the last one by itself
without, wow, without the condiments. It, it reminds me more of biscuits and gravy. Huh. Honestly, maybe that's what a uh, White Castle slider is supposed to taste like. Because honestly, I don't know. I can't compare them right now. Uh, unless I went and bought some of the frozen ones in the freezer section. So yeah, I could recommend trying them out. Maybe grab a bag for the next time you got friends over, or you're watching a uh, football game or something like that. And with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. Please like, share, and subscribe if you got anything out of this. It helps me so much. I'm still such a small channel, but this channel is growing at a nice pace. I'm very happy with the way everything is going. I love hearing from you guys, so please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.